Inside your head is a massive electrical network made of millions of brain cells that all have to work together in harmony so that you can write the next great novel. Or check social media. Or really do any of the things that you do on a daily basis. But as you do these things, the synchronous firing of neurons inside your head produces a phenomena called brainwaves. When one neuron sends a message to another, it does so by sending a small electrical burst between the two brain cells. As we perform our daily activities, millions of these electrical pulses are all happening at the same time across the brain. As they work together, they do so in a rhythmic pattern that can be measured. So as you're finally getting into the groove while writing your novel, your brain is establishing a rhythm of its own. There are different kinds of brain waves that are associated with different levels of brain activity. Gamma waves, which are the most intense variety, are the hallmark of a brain that is an extreme concentration. So as you're chugging away at that novel, connecting plot points and tying all those thematic elements together, your brain is working at high capacity, producing strong gamma waves as you work. However, once your concentration is broken by a phone call from your cousin on the other side of the country, your brain waves lower in intensity and become beta waves. It's an interesting conversation, so you are focused and engaged, but not so much so as when you were hard at work. Once you hang up the phone and sit down to watch a documentary about elephants, your brain waves become alpha waves. Alpha waves are produced when you are relaxed, even approaching a meditative state. Once the show ends, you turn off the TV and ponder what it would be like to have a trunk. You aren't thinking about it too hard, however, and you are awfully tired at this point. So your brain waves have slowed down to become theta waves. These waves are seen in people as a daydream or drift into sleep. And as you drift into sleep, your brain produces delta waves. These are the slowest kind of brain waves, only seen when you are deeply asleep. Brain waves can be measured using electroencephalography, or as it is more commonly called, an EEG. Electrodes are placed on the head and scalp and detect changes in the brain's electrical activity. This creates a picture called an electroencephalogram. Here, the x-axis depicts time while the y-axis depicts amplitude. As your neurons fire together and go silent together, it forms the up and down pattern you see here. Gamma waves, the ones helping you with your novel, are short and spiky, like the ocean on a stormy day. Your sleepy delta waves are slow, but have high amplitude, creating big, slow waves. Scientists are learning that abnormal brain waves could be signs of diseases and disorders such as depression, epilepsy, and Alzheimer's. Studying brain waves could become useful biological indicators for these diseases and disorders and help diagnose things like Alzheimer's earlier to give patients a better chance of fighting it. One thing's for certain, there's still much more to understand about the organ that lets us do so.